everyone now in this video we learned how to split a column in two parts for example you have been given one full name which is tom cruise how can you split uh, it in two parts in a way that first name column contains this and uh, the last name contains this right now what we are going to learn today is opposite of this right so if you want to if you have already seen this video by the time you are watching this recorded one okay if you have already seen then it is fine if you're not then i'm leaving the link into the description section even if you don't see this video still you can continue with the current video that's going to be easy for you to understand okay now let me take you to the power bi very very quickly and help you understand with the, with an example right so here we see the name are separate first name is in this column and last name in it is in this column what if we want to combine these both together and want to have one column named as full name instead of having it separate right so in previous video we saw we had the full name and we wanted to split it now we are going to do the opposite one right how to do that so for that you just need to go on home tab and from the home tab you need to find the option transform data which is right over here right and as soon as you do this we are going to go in our most powerful zone that is power query right and here just select your table from here now you have these two column all that you need to do is go on transform and over here you will get one option which is called merge columns where are those that will come so first you require to select those two columns which you want to merge so i select this press and hold control key from your keyboard and then right over here in text column just see this merge columns just click on this as soon as you do this it's going to combine both of them basis on your instruction means when you combine what is the separator that you want to keep between both of the text or both of the value so for that you need to use some things for example when you write your first name and last name between those two you keep some space so that's exactly what i'm going to do over here space and then if you want to give the name of your name to your new column you can give it otherwise it will by default name that as most so i'm going to name it as full name as soon as I do this and click OK, you see the magic just happened, right? Both of these those two names are combined. Now you need to go on home and just say close and apply. As soon as you do this in your actual Power BI window where you were working on, here you are going to see the magic. Means your data has been transformed. You see, this is how you can work on. So this is how the merging of columns happens basis on the separator i just hope that it was easy for you to understand let me know into the comment section when and where did you use this kind of functionality and why was it important for you right if your context is very interesting i'll try to create a separate video using the same functionality but into that specific context thanks once again for watching the video wish you very very good